Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 21st of November 2019 and the time is exactly uh, 11 a.m. GMT, 1100 GMT. Um, and this week's Chart of the Week is Palladium. Uh, I've spoken about it before and I'm going to speak about it again uh, because the market is, is, uh, is in a very strong bullish trend. Um, and I like, like to look at markets that, that are trending, uh, so Palladium is a good example to look at. Uh, so the longer term view is that Palladium has been in a solid upward trend for a number of years now. Um, we've, we've, we've seen uh, record highs achieved uh, in the early part of 2019 uh, and in, in the middle of 20, in the summer of 2019. And this is a, a lovely example of an upward trend that, w that we're in again. And it was only uh, at the beginning of the month that we set, uh, once again, all-time highs. And the all-time high, the recent all-time high, was just shy of the $1,800 mark. Somewhere around, around 1799 $1,798, there, thereabouts. After we hit that level, we did see a fairly sizable move to the downside. You know, every now and again, you're going to get a correction. The market was trending, driving lower. The, the steady increase in positive momentum on the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram. But, but it managed to trade below the 50 moving average very briefly and for a few days after that it managed to kind of just about hold above the, largely hold above the 50 moving average that's clearly acting as very decent support and now the market's pushing higher again and we can see there's been a steady decrease in negative momentum so the the, the rebound and the upward move in the price is being confirmed by the, the decline in negative momentum so we could be look to retest the all-time highs in around this area here in the near term, and should we should we go below, should we go beyond 1800? Uh, that will be sit there there about that that will be in uncharted territory. That will be fresh all time highs. Uh, and markets that are got, you know regularly hit all time highs are more likely all time highs, although there are no, no no gains, no guarantees. So if we leave a size of break beyond 1800, that could bring in 1810, 1820, 1830, and so on and so forth into the fold potentially. Um, but if you do manage to drift to the downside, support can be found from this blue line here, the 50 moving average in a 1687. And if, and if you know, we can see here that, 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 that the metric on a few occasions acted as support in the near in, in the recent past. Therefore, it makes it more likely it will do so in the near future. Obviously, there are no guarantees. Um, and even if it drops below the 50 moving average, as long as it holds above this area here, the, the recent low in at uh, 1645 there thereabouts. That area could act uh, as support, and even if we got below that, an area uh, that might act as support could be this broadly speaking this 1600 area, just shy of 1600. Back in May was the, the pre was a, was a, one of the earlier all time highs achieved. But we can see on a few occasions that there was um, all time high was achieved in July, and on a few occasions there was some consolidation in around that area. So 1600 for me is a really kind of the, probably the most important metric to keep an eye on. Keep an eye on keep an eye out for regarding palladium and it's only really if you have a size of break below that because then we begin to think okay you know what we could be in further losses from there so it could take us back down towards potentially this red line here the maturity moving average or down towards it now if you are going to be trading 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 palladium it is worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on on the platinum market um both mark both metals are used in catalytic converters uh given that we're in the kind of uh, in a kind of a greener age, and, and the, the future is going to be far, uh, hopefully far more greener than the past, uh, these two metals are likely to kind of see increased demand because of those drive to kind of greener, um, a greener lifestyle. We can see here from SCLE, the middle of the month, the mid-November mid onwards, we saw a steady push to the upside in, pl in platinum. And if you take a look back at the palladium chart, we can see here that we've also seen something similar by actually the middle of the month, the market starts to do turn around together. Now, Dow theory would tell us that the averages must confirm each other, and obviously there are no guarantees. But it's, you know, if you're looking at buying at the platinum because you think it's going to continue to rise, if you're seeing, sorry, apologies, if you're going to buy into palladium because you think it's going to rise, and you're seeing similar moves being echoed in the platinum market, you can then be, become more confident that the that the book markets are going to push higher. Obviously, there are no guarantees, but it's about actually um, applying the kind of market logic, and as it's about Buying it is about um, seeing that, 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 that both markets are moving in, in the same direction because it would suggest that what's driving one is also driving the other. Um, just want to wrap things up now. Uh, thank you for tuning in and please listen next week. Thank you very much.